It's finally there. After years of speculations and big expectations, the Korean car maker is finally entering the segment we anticipated long ago. Finally, Kia is making a genuine pickup truck, a body-on-frame vehicle that will compete on a global scale. The all-new 2025 Kia Tasman is almost there, and we bring you a short preview so you can get familiar with the vehicle that could easily be a real game-changer in the pickup market. In just a few decades, Kia became one of the leading brands in this automotive industry with a solid reputation and, more importantly, excellent sales numbers. However, the company has never been into more rugged body-on-frame vehicles, especially pickups. Well, the time has come to make this substantial change and expand the portfolio with the model that will take on some of the most legendary names in the pickup world. Yes, you hear us well. The Tasman will be a genuine mid-size pickup that will compete with icons such as the Toyota Hilux and Ford Ranger. Kia's pickup has been in talks for a long time, and now it's official. Moreover, the test model has already been spotted a couple times over the last few months. Even with camouflage, it shows a lot, so we're pretty confident when it comes to predicting how it's going to look like. And we're not the only ones, as various rendering photos have already appeared on the internet. As mentioned, the new pickup truck is around the corner. It's in the final phase of testing and, from what we can see, it's about to check every important box in this highly demanding segment. In one of the recent tests, the test mule went off-road along with the current generation Ford Ranger. We presume that Kia engineers wanted to compare the abilities of its pickup with one of the class leaders. But more importantly, this gave us a picture of the Tasman's size. With two models standing next to each other, it was easy to notice that Kia's pickup features pretty similar dimensions typical for this segment. However, there's one interesting detail we've noticed. It seems to feature a little bit longer overhangs, which may be a slight handicap in terms of off-road ride. On the other hand, it suggests that one of the goals may be to offer higher comfort compared to competitors. In any case, the test mule still wears full camouflage, so it's a little bit tricky to talk about a more specific part of the styling. On the other hand, we can clearly see a super boxy shape and a rugged stance that clearly points out the body-on-frame nature of the truck. The test mule comes in a double cab layout, but we don't exclude the possibility of seeing a more commercially oriented iteration with an extended or even single cab layout. Back to aesthetics. The new pickup may wear camouflage, but there are several renderings circling around on the network, including those from Colisa.ru, which is usually very precise with its visual predictions. Anyway, these images show a very rugged and boxy design where, of course, the front end dominates. It features an upright design with interesting headlights that may resemble the most recent Toyota pickups a bit. On the other hand, the grille looks pretty unique with its massive super rugged pattern. Speaking of ruggedness, it continues through the rest of the vehicle, especially with those massive black cladding around the wheels. All in all, if the production version comes with similar styling to these renderings, we have no doubt that the look will be one of the key selling points of this pickup. But since we're talking about body-on-frame pickups, attractive aesthetics are not enough for success. Besides form, you need substance to be successful in this segment, especially if we consider Kia's plans to compete in various markets around the world. According to the officials, Australia will be one of the key markets which doesn't come as a surprise considering the popularity of mid-size utes down under. However, the company also plans to compete in the domestic market as well as in Europe, while many experts even speculate about the North American market. Anyway, even though the test mule is still covered with camouflage, some of the spy shots clearly show what's under the skin. For example, one of the shots taken during the test drive in Korea clearly shows that the new pickup features good old leaf springs in the back. With such old-school technical solutions, it's clear that the Tasman will come with pretensions to be a very capable work machine. After all, some sources already speculate about things like towing and hauling, suggesting that Kia's pickup could be more capable than well-established rivals. 
In numbers, that would be around 2,200 pounds or 1,000 kilograms in terms of payload, while the max towing capacity is estimated at around 8,000 pounds or 3,600 kilos. However, during another test drive, we noticed that things were a little bit different. This time, the test mule had coil springs, which indicate that a comfort-oriented variant could be offered as well. Some believe that the actual setup will depend on the market. For example, the European model could come with coil springs, while the Australian or Korean market version could use leaf springs. Still, they're much closer to the idea of offering both setups, no matter the market. In that case, leaf springs would be reserved for cheaper variants, while the more advanced setup would be followed by a more luxurious interior and other comfort features, and feature a higher price tag, of course. Speaking of comfort and convenience inevitably leads to interior design. And since we're talking about a test mule, it doesn't surprise that not many details are known at the moment. Capable spy photographers managed to catch a few interior photos with their cameras, but unfortunately, Kia designers were smart enough to cover areas like the dashboard, steering wheel, center console, etc. In other words, we can only speculate at the moment. We may presume that the new pickup will feature a more rugged design approach on the inside compared to contemporary SUVs and crossovers. Still, some design solutions from these more civilized vehicles may be adopted, especially when it comes to screens and similar tech features. For example, newer Kia models come with a massive panel that integrates a digital instrument cluster and infotainment screen, so we may see something very similar in the Tasman, but probably only at more expensive variants. Cheaper variants would probably come with a smaller infotainment screen and maybe even an analog or partly digital cluster. With a double cab layout and dimensions similar to the Ford Ranger, it's quite obvious that the Tasman is going to be a pretty comfortable pickup truck. Besides space, we also count on a lot of standards and available equipment, starting from typical goodies like smartphone integration, integrated cameras, hill start assist, and a variety of advanced safety systems. Higher grades should also utilize fancier materials, including leather upholstery, more attractive color schemes, and similar things. Finally, with dimensions similar to the Ford Ranger, we may also expect a similarly sized cargo bed. In the case of the double cab version, that would probably be around 5 feet or 1.5 meters, if you prefer the metric system. In case Kia offers something more oriented to work, a single or extended cab version, we may expect the cargo bed to get bigger. As for the powertrain, the officials are still quiet about engine options, but we may presume that some of the familiar units are going to be used. As we're talking about a pickup that's going to compete in markets like Australia and Europe, the first thing that comes to mind is a diesel option. Most likely, that would be the company's well-known 2.2-liter turbo diesel, rated somewhere around 200 horsepower or 150 kilowatts, which seems competitive enough for the segment. But we also count on gas-powered variants. One of them could be a 2.5-liter turbo 4, the engine that already powers a plethora of Kia models, with a max output that usually goes around 280 horsepower or 210 kilowatts. Finally, if we consider that the new pickup could possibly arrive in North America, we may also see something bigger on offer with more cylinders. Currently, there are a couple of potential candidates, such as a 3.5-liter or 3.8-liter unit, where the latter would be pretty much the same unit that can be found under the hood of the Kia Telluride, with the max output of around 290 horsepower. Then there's the transmission, which will most probably be an 8-speed automatic, though some sources also speculate about a dual-clutch gearbox. Of course, the former seems way more likely in our book because of heavy exploitation. Speaking of exploitation, the new pickups shouldn't be just a capable work machine. We also count on decent off-road performance. Therefore, a four-wheel drive version is a certain thing, while Kia will probably offer a variety of traction control modes for challenging surfaces like sand, snow, mud, etc. Eventually, Kia might offer a dedicated off-road version with further upgrades. Of course, such a version would come with a tuned suspension and better tires, but also with drivetrain upgrades such as a two-speed transfer case as well as one or more locking differentials. 
Once again, the officials don't say much. Unofficially, the new pickup is expected to hit Australian and South Korean markets later this year, while European and potential North American launches are planned for 2025. What do you think of the new 2025 Kia Tasman? Can it compete with the Hilux, Ranger, and other pickup legends? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching and see you next time!